Hi and welcome to episode 15 of the 21st Century Pharmacist Show. Today we want to talk about something that's very important and that is where where does your information come from? What are the sources? I get all kind of questions on a daily basis and oftentimes it's just something they heard somebody say or something they saw on the internet and they don't know who who it was talking and, and they saw it on TV maybe, a news report. Whatever it is, that's great, and I don't mind the questions, but I want to make sure that you're always getting your information from reputable sources. I, I want to use an example just like the four-part series that I did recently. If you missed it, please go back and watch it. On the recent American Heart Association recommendations to eat corn and soybean oil and to cut out coconut oil. Even though it's the American Heart Association, oftentimes that information isn't backed by science. So. I always talk about my OptiLife RX program being a science-based program. And as I write my 21st Century Pharmacist book, one of the things that people keep asking me is, why is it taking you so long to have your book published? Well, one of the big reasons is because I have to make sure that the science is solid on all the things that I have in my book, all the things that I teach in my program, all the things that you see here on this 21st Century Pharmacist show. So I want to make sure that you're using those same standards and you're not just following the herd or following the trends, but you're following science. And that's the key. We got to make sure it comes from a reputable source and it's not skewed by some big company, whether it's a, a big food company, a big pharma company, a big, uh, you know, just commercial enterprise who is trying to sidetrack us from what the real science says. So we just need to make sure that we're using the right sources and that we know who the people are that we're listening to. And we want to make sure that they have some kind of, of a background or training that gives them the ability to know how to read this science and to know how to, how to uh, put all this into perspective. So just I want you not to make mistakes based off bad science or, or maybe not even real science but just marketing is what I like to call it. So let's make sure we avoid the marketing, look at the real science, and look at the real results. And that's what I love about my program is we have amazing results for so many people that it's just, it's really mind-boggling to a lot of people, uh, even in the medical community, who see the results of some of our folks. So I, I just want you to know that. I want you to think about that. And on, um, as we go through and as my book comes out, and if you've ever been through any of my programs, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. I tell you when it's my opinion, otherwise I have science to back it. And if you will continue to make sure you use those standards, then you'll always get better advice and you'll always be following the right advice and not just some fly-by-night, for lack of a better term, kind of advice that could be out there. Just be careful with today's internet, with today's social media. You know, we can look up and we can, we can Wikipedia. There's so many different sources of getting information today. Let's just make sure we're sticking with the ones that are true to science and true to what's best for our health, wellness, and fitness. Uh, until next time, thanks. We want to make sure that wherever we are, whether we're traveling, whether we're at home, whether we're busy with kids, or family or work or whatever it is that we're prepared to eat and have the right things available so that I don't have to go out and make a bad decision.